What's up, guys? Coach Andrew Simmons here, back for Jog Your Mind, segment number 10. And we're going to dive in today to talk all through, actually, our pre-race routine and kind of talking about how do we hone in on the big races. In the past, you guys have heard me talk about the idea of expectations and reality. And that's kind of the basis for this episode. When we set ourselves an expectation for something, and that expectation could be, uh, it's today I'm going to go for a PR or today, um, you know, I, I'm going to set myself up for, for something. It could be a PR, could be a, a season PR, could be to finish, you know, a certain place on your team, whatever it may be. And then when you go out there and you don't get that, where the expectation that you had in reality, you finish seventh instead of fifth, they miss each other. They don't meet up. That's when we can really start to think about ourselves and how good we are as an athlete in the sport. When our expectation is set that more along the lines of, I have an expectation that I'm going to put out a great effort today. I have an expectation of myself um, to, you know, maybe you can say set, set a PR or be in this range of time. And then you know, even set up to yourself that it's going to be difficult and I'm going to push myself. When those expectations are met up with hard things, right? Reasonable expectations about effort, um, ideas around how hard you want to push yourself. When you do actually get to the point in the race where it does get hard, instead of it taking you and spiraling you down, you're ready to handle what's coming your way. You're ready to go fight. And so that is actually why I sat down to re-record today because I was disappointed in the effort that I put into that last episode. Know that of you guys out here that listen to this and watch this, I want to make sure I created good content for you guys. I have a standard for myself. I have a standard for what I'm doing here for you guys. And I think that can be something important for you guys as you walk into these last couple races of the season is set a standard for what you want for yourself when you go out to these races and make sure it's a reasonable standard, a reasonable expectation. You know, if you're going out saying, man, I've got to set a 30 second PR or it's no good this season, that's just misguided. Okay. So let's dive in. We're going to talk a little bit this week. Um, and talk about the pre race warm up. One of the questions that came to me from one of my athletes was, should I do some tempo? I see some other people out there doing some tempo in their warm up advantages, disadvantages two to three minutes, or even doing something like five by 20 seconds, uh, on, you know, 40 seconds jog. These are all great ways to get your heart rate up more than just an easy aerobic run, knowing that championship style races and these regional races, everybody's trying to go fast. Everybody's vying for a spot on that state team. Um, or even in a race like state, um, it's going to go hard and it's, you're going to be on your limit the whole time. And so if you've got to take your energy or your heart rate from, the very bottom, maybe you're hundred beats per minute and you're going to go, you know, zing it up to 170, 180. You might as well show up to that start line, 130, 140, doing those strides to kind of keep your heart rate up, keep your energy level up, all things like that. So yeah, I do think a tempo or even some intervals would be great uh, to add into your pre-race warm up. kind of helps you feel that pace and helps you feel it sooner. Um, I think one of the other things is by this point in the season, we're 10 weeks in, you need to know what gets you in the zone, okay? And what I mean by that is you might have some of your favorite music and it's those songs or that series of things that can help develop a pattern in your brain. I have a couple songs that I absolutely love to listen to uh, in the car on the way to a race. And then if I'm warming up and I feel like I want it, I'll put music on before I race and that helps me get in the zone, that helps me get focused it's always the same music. Um, and I, I've found certain things that help me kind of key in. Um, and that's other things, warm up, um, you know, maybe it's putting on some sunglasses. Um, you know, it could be, uh, you know, some other things that are like, okay, now it's time to go to work. I encourage all of my athletes that, uh, you know, before your warm up, when you're there, you're hanging out, hang out, have fun, keep the mood light, keep yourself conversational. If you're someone that tends to be reserved, you need to try, try to open up a little bit. If it's not in your general nature to do so, make sure that you're not retreating and overthinking and just spending time getting yourself built up 
in anxiety rather than optimism and excitement. Um, and that's where I think just talking to friends and talking out loud, even if saying out loud, man, I'm kind of nervous for today. You might find that there's other people too. And it kind of takes the pressure off the whole situation. But once that warm up starts, it's go time. And I think it's really important that you lock in and you do your best to stay in the zone. And one of the things that can be really tough uh, in these moments is people that may not match your energy. And what you have to be able to do is just like in horse racing, you got to be able to put blinders on. And the reason horses have blinders is that without the blinders, they're going to be too worried about the things that are happening on their peripheral behind them. You can't worry about the people behind you. You can't even worry about the people next to you. You have to worry about the racers that are in front of you and worry about, are you getting closer to them? And how do you stay and run your race? The one that's most important. And so when I say put your blinders on, it also means put your earplugs in. You're going to be, you're going to hear things. You're going to people say, man, it's really hot or man, this course sucks. Or they're going to say any sort of number of things. And that energy can bring you down and your job is to preserve your energy on that start line in that warm up. And that doesn't mean not doing a tempo or doing those other things for fear of running out of energy. You won't, you would have to go run a 5k and then run another 5k to run out of, you know, vigor and energy. I promise the energy of the moment of regionals and state, you're going to have plenty of adrenaline to run on promise, promise, promise. The next thing here Confidence is in how you show up. I think it's, I loved, you know, when I had a wrestling meet, I actually really loved dressing up. I know some people probably hate it, but I loved it because I knew something special was happening today. You know, when I put that tie on and that shirt and those ill-fitting khakis, um, you know, that, that was when I knew I was like, hey, something special is happening today. This is a cool thing. But it can also mean putting on a headband. Like I said, putting on sunglasses. When you put your jersey on, Wear it with pride. One of the things that someone asked me years ago was like, okay, well, how, how do I be confident? Well, what does confident look like to you? How, what, what does it look like? Think in your mind, like think of like the confident racer, then act like that person. If they're always walking around, they're smiling, their chest is up and they're having, you know, like they look like they're having a good time or they look like they're super focused and they're dialed in. Whatever aligns with you and you, that catches your eye, do that be that, try that. It may feel a little weird, but you will find things that like, Hey, I feel more confident. This is good. I like this. I'm confident in myself. I hold myself differently. That's super important. My last point, And I think it's just some helpful information. I have it inside the blog. I got two key sessions. These are things that I like to do the race week. Um, it's five by 40 seconds on a minute 20. Um, and that 40 seconds is at 5k to two mile. Super important that you guys keep your rhythm inside a week. You don't want to not do workouts this week to try to preserve energy unless you're sick. Um, and you want to turn your legs over, but you need to keep your rhythm so that you sleep well, you don't feel sluggish. And then usually eight to 10 by 20 seconds, same thing, 5k to two mile, a little bit earlier in the week that five by 40 can be, you know, a day or two out. And I'm, I'm speaking to people that may not have a team at this point, and maybe an individual heading to regionals or state. Um, so if you don't have any good key sessions, or you're trying to think of some stuff, I like these. The last thing, one of the things that I think is super important is controlling your breath. So this week's download, um, I have four exercises that are super helpful. Super helpful for you guys um, to help you guys control your breath. These are good ways to kind of bring down the anxiety of a moment. These are good things to use when you're testing, um, when you're running. There's a number of different things there um, that can be super helpful for you guys. Last two announcements. I'll get these out of the way. One, our winter program here in Golden starts November 1st, as well as for anybody that's out there that's listening, um, <clears throat> I have a remote training group this year. And uh, this is uh, from November 1st all the way until the end of February. We meet twice a month uh, for 30 to 45 minutes. It's a chance for you to connect with other athletes all across the U.S. This is for 800, 1600, and 3200 meter athletes. This program um, is a full run training program. You're going to be able to meet other people, interact with me, talk with me ask questions that maybe you haven't quite sent me over email. Uh, we can talk about pacing. We can talk about mental tools. Um, and it's all through Mighty Networks. So you guys can ask questions there as well and connect with other people. So with that said, I got the announcements done. I got some information out to you guys. I'm going to keep it under 10 minutes. We'll see you guys next week for segment number 11. It's going to be a good one. See you guys later.